Hello guys, welcome to Dynamic Coaching Center. So today we are going to see about uh, NLC recruitments. Uh, they have asked vacancies in um, uh, several departments for GET, that is Graduate Executive Training. So getting into this kind of a company like NLC, Central Government Owned Company, is a really prestigious job and uh, the profile itself is a prestigious profile. So before going into uh, the job profile and other required details let me give you a gentle uh, reminder that they have uh, given a notification on 13 5 2020 stating that they have extended the application filing time so they have extended the uh, um, submission of online application till 35 2020 that is coming saturday so if you haven't uh, you know applied for this post please go ahead and apply and use the opportunity because this is one of a kind of, of opportunity so this could be a building step for entering into gate exams or uh, ESC exams or SSC whatever it may be so make use of this opportunity now let's go into the notification that they have given regarding the post or recruitments so as you know that uh, this NLC falls under Navaratna category so Navaratna category means uh, government of India have categorized uh, three different categories of companies one is Maharatna, Navaratna and Miniratna so Maharatna is the top paying uh, company whereas uh, paying groups of companies whereas Navaratna is the second most top paying groups of companies it consists several uh, departments, several um, you know enterprises like NLC. Many more enterprises are there. Then, so uh, entering into this kind of an uh, uh, working environment is itself a prestigious thing. So do give a try for this. So now they have asked uh, uh, you know vacancies in. 10 departments, 10 different departments. One is mechanical, electrical, ECE, civil, control and instrumentation, computer, mining, geology, finance, as well as human resource. So the basic requirement is, is to have a degree based on the uh, departments that they have asked. So you should be having at least 60% of uh, know percentage in your uh, um, degree so that uh, you are eligible if you are in general category or else if you are in any other categories you you should have at least 50 percent for eligibly eligible to uh, apply for this examination itself so you should have a degree based on the departments that they have asked so uh, as usual there are some upper age limits so for normal uh, general categories, you will be having 30 is the highest uh, age limit and for OBC it is 33 and SCST so it is 35. So why did I mention that this post is a, a prestigious post? Just like one example here. So for the if you got selected and uh, once you got selected, you will be having one year as a trainee period even in that training period you will be having a basic pay of 50,000 rupees so in that training period itself so this is why I told that this company is a prestigious company and you have to give a try to enter into this in, in this type of company so once you finish your training period you successfully absorbed into, into their uh, uh, engineer grade whatever E3 or E2 whatever it may be and uh, your basic pay starts from 60,000 there so after earning uh, two to three years experience you can even take home who knows you can even take home around 75 to 80,000 so that's going to be a huge amount once after reaching 10 to 15 years you'll be having a, a monthly package of 1.6 so that's going to be a big right so that's why I'm saying I'm saying again and again try to get into this kind of companies so that you could get settled there so now uh, how the exams are conducted so the examination is conducted in uh, uh, you know two parts 
so one will be on computer based test and other one will be interview so computer based test will be having two parts the first part will be having a quantitative aptitude logical reasoning general awareness data interpretation and general english whereas part 2 will be having uh, the discipline that you have selected or the degree that you have so if you are having mechanical your part 2 questions will be on mechanical if you are having electrical your part 2 questions will be on electrical if you are having mine uh, mining technology your part 2 questions will be on mining technology so uh, it's the discipline that you have selected and uh, and you have uh, uh, earned your degree so um so this is how the examination is conducted like computer based examination is conducted so there is a twist in this tale uh, the twist is for every wrong answer you will be charged 0.25 marks from your correct answer so for example if you have attended 60 questions and you have answered correctly for the 50 questions and you have answered wrongly for the uh, balanced 10 question so you will be having 2.5 marks minus from your correct answers so your marks will be around 47.5 so that's why i will always encourage people to leave the questions that they are not sure about the answers so better leave it don't try to attempt and get a wrong answer and get a negative mark so that is one of the tip that i will be giving uh, um for this kind of approaching this kind of examinations then so the minimum percentage you need to secure in order to consider for the interview processes for the general category you have to secure around 50% minimum 50% that is around 60 marks you have to secure in the computer based test and this computer based test is for 120 marks 40 for the quantitative aptitude logical reasoning everything and 80 for the uh, your uh, your branch questions whatever it may be and uh, so if you are in general category you have to secure around 60 marks and above and if you are in uh, ac category or acst or obc whatever other uh, categories you have to secure around 40% that is i think it should be around 50 plus 55 plus so that gives under 40% so this is how you should uh, how much you should secure secure for a uh, uh, getting a personal interview chance not a confirmed seat i'm saying about the chance so you have to secure this much of uh, uh, percentage in the written exam so once you secured uh, uh, enough percentage for the interview now you will be getting a call letter for the interview and um, you know there is also another one so don't think that the interview will be having uh, for example uh, there is a mechanical um, call for for 125 people in this nlc right so don't think that only 150 people will be selected for the interviews and from that 150 you will be having 125 people been recruited into the nlc see you will be having six times the number of vacancies that have been raised by the nlcs as your competitors so if you are a mechanical department you will be competing with 750 members so you have to become one in that 750 okay so this is how the uh, selection is based on so the weightage will be given as 80 for the written exam and the 20 for the interview personal interview so once again uh after getting selected you will be having uh, your package discussed and as per i have early uh, mentioned earlier so now uh, let's get into the uh, syllabus and other kind of things so syllabus is not going to be very so if you are an engineering student it's all about what you have already studied so not only just engineering all the 10 departments that they have uh, uh, vacancies There is nothing but your college, your degree syllabus is going to be repeated there. So for civil, here it is again. See engineering, mechanics, solid mechanics, structural analysis. These are the papers that you would have uh, gone through your uh, degrees. For electrical, ECE also you have, you do have the same papers that you were studying from your degrees. For electrical, 
similarly you having the same papers see electric circuit electromagnetic field electrical machines power systems control systems all the papers were uh, were in your degree itself were in your degree syllabus itself so uh, there is nothing new that you are going to learn so you are going to refresh your memory from your uh, uh, you know from your college days so you are going to refresh it so be ready to prepare at least 4 to 5 hours per day so that dedicated 4 to 5 hours will give you a good payback and for mechanical also you will be having the same syllabus that you have learnt in your uh, college in your mechanics mechanics of materials theory of machines vibrations everything is new nothing is everything is the same old uh, syllabus nothing is new so try to refresh your memories and uh, we will be also helping you in this kind of uh, uh, situations let me explain that later little bit later so now we have discussed everything regarding syllabus recruitment process and uh, uh, requirements from their side and requirements from your side we have discussed everything now we have to discuss about the previous year cut off so these are the cut off for 2018 i hope so yeah this is the cut off for 2018 so see the mechanical cut off for 2018 years 81.7 that is for general category so if you are under mechanical then you should secure above 81 because the previous cut off was 81.78 so definitely this year the cut off is going to be around 82 or uh, above 82 similarly for triple e 66 similarly for electrical 68 above civil 83 above control and instrumentation 79 mining 49 and above computer 78 and above so these are the uh, 2018 cut off i am going to discuss about the general category i am not going to discuss about the other categories so i am just going to discuss be focused on the general category because general category will give you an idea of how you should prepare for this exam so what our panel of uh, you know expert panel members expecting cut off in the upcoming uh, examination is for mechanical that is going to be your cut off is going to be around 80 to 90 and for electrical it is going to be around 68 to 76 and for ece it is going to be around 69 to 77 and for civil it is going to be around 80 to 85 and for other departments you can uh, add 5 to 10 marks from the previous year cut off so because these are the four major departments i have uh, you know we have uh, guessed our expected cut off for this 2020 um so in order to achieve this kind of cut off you have to work hard right so let me explain how we are going to help in this part so we are going to post a sequence of videos in uh, aptitude logical reasoning uh, uh, english general english general awareness whatever it may be so we are going to be helpful for you through the videos in youtubes and uh, those videos will be having uh, aptitudes and uh, logical reasonings in it so there will be a sequencing of videos and uh, you can follow those videos in order to understand the logic behind each and every problems so we'll be solving previous year question papers from uh, you know from ssc and esc and gate so those will be a great uh, example for preparing this kind of exam um then for your departmental wise papers so we we are already a prominent center uh, on offline classes so we do have already some uh, online classes on mechanical uh, civil electrical papers so uh, what we will be doing is we will be uh, posting videos on crash courses of mechanical civil and uh, electrical correspondingly so this will be the order of the videos that we will be uh, now uh, premiering so first you will be having videos of mechanical then civil then electrical so once mechanical is completed you will be having civil then after that electrical or ec whatever it can be 
So this is the order that we will be having. So already we have some certain amount of videos regarding gate, ESCs, uh, exams. So we will be having a crash course kind of video, uh, crash course playlisted videos. So that will be helpful for cracking your departmental papers, departmental questions in this kind of exams. So uh, do use those videos and all those videos are completely free. So it is totally free for you guys. So make use of those videos and the people who will be uh, posting those videos, taking those classes or uh, well educated, they have their degrees completed from uh, IIT. So make use of them and uh, uh, th those techniques that they teach in those videos are very easy. They will be um, effective in time management for your exams because this is a very short period exam and you have to cover a vast syllabus. So those techniques will be very effective for your time management. Make use of those videos and if you have any doubts, please ask it in, uh, in our comment box. So so that we could uh, you know follow your follow your comments and we could reply it as soon as possible if you have any doubts you can even contact us through our, our website so that will be in your description of this video then uh, if you like this video give a thumbs up and then if you have any other doubts or if you have any other uh, queries don't hesitate to ask us and do subscribe to us and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of the videos that are going to be followed after this thank you have a nice day